Hello again, Wired fam. Hope everybody's doing well. Welcome to another episode of Wired for Crappie. I appreciate you guys for uh, joining us today. Listen, if you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. That helps the channel out tremendously. Uh, it always brings new people to the channel when they see extra subscribers. So then we appreciate you uh, following us and following along. So again, today we are going to continue our journey into becoming a better crappie angler, okay? So we're doing a series right now where we're hope helping you guys and hopefully growing each and every one of you into becoming a better crappie angler. So We've learned a lot over the last four episodes. If you haven't seen those, go back and watch them. This is episode five, and we are going to have a good one today. So we are actually going to go to the lake, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to read your side imaging and use your side imaging to catch more fish, okay? So we're going to go. I'm going to show you guys. We learned in last week's episode, kind of following those creek channels, and we are doing this from the truck on the way there because it is like 32 today it is cold 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 so we are actually going to the lake in freezing temperatures but we are going to show you guys how to find fish where to locate those fish and how to follow those creek channels like we learned last episode to find structure and find fish so stick with us we'll be right back it's gonna be a good one guys thanks for watching All right, guys, welcome back. So a couple things I want to talk about before we get to the lake, okay? Because, again, it's 32 degrees. I'm trying my best to get some of this done when it ain't 32 degrees outside. I'm in the heat of the truck, right? So a couple things that you want to remember when you go out and you're side scanning or down scanning or 2D sonar, if that's what you have, when you're scanning for brush or you're scanning for crappie, couple things you want to remember so let's think back to last week's video right where are those high percentage areas okay those high percentage areas the creek channels the river channels the the primary creek channels the secondary creek channels those uh, primary points the first point on uh, in a creek just off the main river those secondary points okay the secondary points are those points that are back further in the creek you know you want to remember those high percentage areas okay you want to be looking in those creek channels you want to be looking in those or on those points around those points you want to be looking on that creek channel ledge that drop okay if those fish if it's summer and it's in it's uh hot and those fish are out on the main river you want to be looking in or on those um, river channel ledges, okay? Where that river channel breaks. You want to be looking for structure around that break, okay? So those high percentage areas is where you want to try to locate those fish at, okay, guys? Um, you need to keep those in the back of your mind or keep those in your mind as you're scanning down the lake. So, you know, to try to eliminate a lot of water and eliminate time you want to try to find or remember those areas okay now let's talk about flats because there is a lot of crappie caught on flats guys and you know flats are a great 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 place to find fish now flats are a little bit seasonal okay so your flats depth are depth dependent and seasonal dependent so, you know, you're not going to find a five foot flat and five and find fish on it on the regular in the middle of summer. They're not going to be there. But in the spring, you may find them on that five foot flat. OK, when they're spawning. So, you know, flats can be good, but you don't need to you don't need to try to put every one of your cards on flats. OK, so I like fishing flats in the summer. I like fishing flats in the spring. In the fall, in the winter, I don't typically fish a whole lot of flats, okay? That's when I try to look in those creek channels. Um, fall and winter, I look in those creek channels. I look docks. 
Um, you know, there's different in the in the late fall. I'll look at laydowns. Um, you know, in the winter, I'm looking in creek channels because that's typically where those fish set up. They typically pull out into the creek channels and they suspend in the creek channels in the winter. But again, flats are great, great areas. And if you can locate structure on flats, you can catch a lot of fish. Okay, I'm not saying you can't, but they are seasonal, depend, uh, seasonal and depth dependent, okay, on those flats. So keep that in mind. Um, remember your high percentage spots, your high percentage areas. Your, like I said, your creek channels, your river channel, your primary and secondary creeks, your primary and secondary points, your docks with decent water depth under them. Remember those areas as you're scanning, okay? So, now that I've run my mouth enough, let's take it over to the lake. We'll be right back and um, see if we can't find some structure, okay, guys? All right, guys, so what we have here, I'm going to go to 50 feet. You see right here, 50 feet on one side, 50 feet on the other side, okay? And we are looking at a point. First of all, we're gonna look at a, a primary point, okay? And it does have some structure on it. All right, so as we come up to this point, you'll see the point right here, okay? See the point coming out. And you'll see the structure on this point right over here. See these waypoints? So it's a primary point that comes out right here with some structure off the end of it. We're going to look at those waypoints on the screen, okay? <clears throat> so I'm gonna drive through these waypoints. We're actually gonna go out to 60 feet. Hopefully we can get some stuff on the edge of the screen, okay guys? So here's a little bit better look at that point. You can see all that structure on that point, right? All right, so here we go. We're going up the point. See some structure here. Okay. There's a brush pile right there. There's a brush pile we just went over the top of. Right there's a brush pile. There's some brush piles right here. See those stakes right there, guys? zoom in on that a little bit for you so right there are some stakes see the little shadows there's some stakes there's another brush pile let's turn around and go back through that so that's those that's those waypoints that we just went through right there okay guys Big primary point right here. It has a ton of structure on it. Let's go back through there again. Slow down a little bit here. All right, there's some stakes. See those stakes right there, guys? Some stakes, some stakes. There's a brush pile off to the side. Right there's a brush pile. Right there's a brush pile, guys. That's what it looks like on the side imaging. Right there. There you have it. Great areas to locate fish. There's brush pile off to the side right there. That's got fish on it. See those little white dots in that? That's fish. One, two, three, four, five. Little white dots on that brush pile. All right, so let's go look at a creek channel. We've got a main creek channel coming in right here. We've got a secondary creek channel that comes down here. Okay, zoom out a little bit. So primary creek channel, 
this branches off down here and this is a secondary creek channel okay Let's see if we can't uh run down this creek channel right here see we got some waypoints right there on the side of the creek channel okay let's run down there and take a look at them getting ready to go over one right here some more stakes more stakes right there good steak bed right there guys look at that look at that that's got fish in it too see those little white dots in that steak bed that's uh fish that's uh 634 we just went over right on the edge of that point see how that's right on that drop of that point guys where it starts dropping off okay it's right on that drop that was 634 right there All right, let's go check these in the creek channel here. Right on the edge of this creek channel. So now we're gonna go up here and we're gonna check out these two. 1280, okay, we're gonna go check those out. Right along the edge of that creek bed. So what you wanna do is you wanna follow these creek beds and you wanna look for structure and you'll find structure right on the edge of these creek beds, okay guys? Just following along this creek bed. We're gonna go right over top of this here, just a minute. There's some fish, some bait, excuse me. Here comes our steaks, guys. Fish on them, fish, 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 look at that. Right along the edge of that creek channel that all those little white dots those are fish guys okay right there on the edge there's another one up here it's more along this creek channel see what i mean by following these creeks you want to follow these creeks in and out looking for structure you right down there partner I got my little buddy down here. Hey, little buddy. What are you doing down there? He came out with me in 32. He was not letting me leave without him, guys. Was not letting me leave. There's a little brush pile off to the side of the screen right here. Right there, guys, that's brush. Okay, you ain't looking for much. Just a little slight anomaly on the side imaging, okay? Follow this creek channel on down through here. Creek bed. Let's see if we can't find a few more. We're coming up on that waypoint now. Let's go to 50 feet. There it is. There's those few stakes right there. See them right there? A few stakes. Should be coming up on another one. Come on, why are you blurry? There we go. There's some stakes right here. See those those dark lines? Let's see if I can focus for you guys. See those dark lines going right there? Those are stakes, guys. Let's flip around and see if we can't get a better look at those stakes. Stakes, buddy. Stakes with a T. He said, are you saying snakes or stakes? I said, stakes. We went right in between those two stake beds. We're gonna try to hit this one over here on this side, right there. All right, let's see if we can't catch that one. Let's go around. There it is, guys. Right there in that creek channel, look fish that's a big old water fish right there that is a big old water crappie those are small fish but they're crappie all right so there you have it easy peasy lemon squeezy 
as I like to say. So I hope that helps, guys. Like I said, look for your points. Find those areas, those, those high percentage areas to locate fish. Follow your creek channels, look at your points, and you'll find crappie. All right, guys, so there you have it. Like I said, those high percentage areas, okay? Points, creek channels, primary, secondary creek channels, depending on time of year, docks along the edge of those creek channels, okay? You're looking for uh, main uh, primary points, secondary points, okay? The primary point is that first point off the main channel in a creek. And then your secondary points, and it's all based on time of year, guys. You know, secondary points, secondary creek channels, spring and fall. Uh, the, the primary points, the primary creek channels, the river channel, mm -hmm. summer and winter, okay? It's pretty simple stuff. Follow those creek channels, those high percentage areas. I know I keep beating that, beating that, beating that. It's like whipping a dead horse. But those are the areas you want to look for crappie. You're going to be more successful. You're going to catch more fish. You're going to put more in the freezer. Okay, guys? That doesn't necessarily go for all the big fish. Big fish doesn't necessarily, big fish don't necessarily follow that same code. But we'll talk about that later in this series, okay? So high percentage areas to put fish in the boat, put them in the freezer, whichever one you'd like to do. I appreciate you guys for watching. As always, God bless, and we'll catch you on the next one.